Hi everyone, let's briefly go over the changes in version 5.0.3 of MainWP. We've introduced support for the AVIF image format in post and page creation processes. We've expanded support for cache control extension to include pressable cache management. A new PHP less than 8 filter has been introduced to the Manage Sites table. We've added a dot next to any setting that's different from its default option, making it easy for you to spot any changes you've made across the entire dashboard. It's a simple tool to help you keep track of your custom settings and preferences. We've added an icon and color picker feature on the Add and Edit Site screen for setting a site icon when the site favicon is unavailable. We've added an icon and color picker feature on the Add and Edit Client screen as an alternative to using an image. The ability to save and load segments on the Dashboard Insights page has been added. A Reset Filters button has been added to the Manage Sites, Manage Clients, Insights, and Cost Tracker pages. We've expanded extension settings synchronization support when adding a new child site for staging and Jetpack Protect extensions. We've added support for database updater information in the Updates Overview widget. A new Getting Started widget has been introduced on the Overview page. Support for boilerplate tokens in custom fields when creating boilerplate posts and pages has been added. The main WP dashboard plugin activation will no longer automatically redirect users to the quick setup wizard. The color picker in the create edit tag modal has been updated to a Fomantic UI one. Improve the display and messaging for row item processing and status updates across the main WP dashboard. Revise success and error messages following form submissions across the main WP dashboard. Made visual adjustments to the info tooltip on the insights page. Enhance the size and visual indication of the drag and drop zone for plugin and theme installations via zip upload. Standardize the design of the filter, reset filter buttons across Manage Sites, Manage Clients, Insights, and Cost Tracker pages. Issues with importing users through CSV uploads have been resolved. The error message that was previously truncated when attempting to reconnect a child site is now fully visible. The PHP less than 7 filter in the Manage Sites table has been corrected to function as intended. Resolved an issue where duplicate tags were displayed in the Manage Sites table due to certain filter combinations. Post subcategories sharing the same name but belonging to different main categories are now correctly displayed. Resolved a conflict with the API backups extension that caused the site addition process to get stuck on adding site. Alignment and padding issues with filter elements on the Insights page have been addressed. Corrected the active menu item display on the Add New Site page. Addressed visual inconsistencies with the boilerplate new post and new page models. Fixed an issue with the detection of grid pane sites with the www prefix in API backups. Resolved an issue with the detection of grid pane staging sites and API backups. Addressed a scenario where the main WP child plugin inadvertently triggered core updates. We've fixed the detection of WP Optimize Caching plugin in the Cache Control extension. We've fixed the last purge time not being refreshed when clearing the Cache Control cache. Resolved a problem with invalid URL encountered when navigating back after submitting a white label support form. Thanks for watching this overview of changes in 5.0.3 of MainWP. Like and subscribe for more updates from MainWP.